Yo! Sup, it's Patrick, Guy in the Cube, and in this video, we're drilling into the new drill through feature from Power BI. Stay tuned. Okay, okay, so why drill? I right now, drill's pretty easy to set up. It's simple, it's a piece of cake. Of course it is. That's what these guys on the product team do. They make things intuitive and easy for you to use in the desktop. But the main reason, the main reason, actually there's two. One, because I get a lot of emails about it and people wanna know, can I drill using two columns? It's like, sure you can, right? The next question is, can you customize that little, you know that little, if you ever set up drill, and I'll show you this, when you create your first drill, it creates a little image with a back arrow. Can you customize it? Can you use your own image? Of course you can, all right? And so the best way for me to show you how to do this stuff is what? Let's head over to my laptop. All right, so what I have here is two pages in my report. I have an overview page and a detail page, a details page. That's typically how it works, right? You have a page that's the top level and then you want it that has like these high level aggregations, then you want to drill down through to a page that has more details. So that's how, what, how I set this up, okay? So um, over here, I have a map and I have a pie chart. Love the pie charts. For you guys that hate the pie charts, that's your problem. If my end user asks for a pie chart, I give them a pie chart, right? You give them what they want. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna drill to this detail page and filter by color and also drill through by country. All right, so how do you set that up? It's pretty easy to set up drill through. I'm gonna head over to my details table. Um, not my details table, my details page. And so when you're configuring drill through, you go to the page that you wanna drill through to, and then you identify the columns that you wanna filter that report by that you will be drilling through to, right? Okay, so the first one we're gonna set up is color. So we go over to, I'm um, gonna drill through the color. And so I'm gonna take, go to my product table and grab color and drop it right there on my drill through features. Filters, drill through filters, not features, drill through filters. And then let's see, you see the little white arrow they put up there, you can barely see it. Maybe it's not white, it's gray, you can barely see it. All right, we're gonna fix that up, all right? So go back to my sales overview page. I'm gonna right click on a country and I don't see the drill. That's because color is nowhere in that element. The column that you wanna drill to must be in the element. So now if I go over to my pie chart, there's drill through. So it's smart enough. The desktop is smart enough to recognize, hey, there's no drill through options in this element, so I'm not even gonna enable that for you, all right? I love it. So if I right click, click sales to detail, drills through the red, you can see, bam, have my selected red. If you wanna know how I do that, watch the video from last week or two weeks ago, I don't know when it was on dynamic labels, I'll show you how to set that up. Um, but now you can see, and you can see that red is selected in my filter section. And if I drag over, let's go to sales territory, drop country, because I want to drill a country too, head back over, let's press down control and click on my back, take me back. Now, if I right click on country, you can see, bam, sales detail, bam, United States, all colors. But what I was asked was, hey, can you drill to two? Can I use two columns in my drill? Of course you can. Um, it is a little tricky. Nah, no, it's not. No, it's not tricky. I take that back. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you can go to sales country. Let's take the color drag it over to legend, right? Let's go out to Australia, right click on one of these. So it's Australia black, sales detail, bam. Now I'm filtered by Australia and black. Um, it works in lots of other different elements. It does work in tables also. So I'm gonna change my pie chart to a table. Let's go over here. Let's just increase the size of this a little bit. Let's go to values. I'm gonna bump this up to like 15, just so you can see. And what I'm gonna do is take country and drag it over to my value section. So now I have country and color on the same one. Let's find something different. Let's use like, you know, silver in France, right click, drill through, sales detail, bam, now it works. So I'm drilling to two columns um, from one individual element. Remember the key is both of those columns must be contained within that element. You, mu element. you must use both of them. I said element, element you must use both of them in the same element, all right? It's pretty cool. So answer question number one, question number two. Question number two, how do you customize that back button? Pretty simple. Go download you an image, go look for an image that you wanna use for your back button. I found one, click images, and then I go to my pictures, 
and look for the image that I want to use. There's a back button somewhere in here. Where are you? There it goes. I got a couple of them. Let's just choose that back button. Click it, format it up a little bit, and then see where it says link right there? Expand link, turn it on, make it a back, right? You can choose back or bookmark. Um, so if I'm gonna choose back, I'm gonna get rid of this guy and bring it right there. Now, once you get this set up, right? Once you have your new image on it, you hold down control and you click it and it takes you back to your report, all right? It's just that simple. You can drill to multiple columns, you can you bring your own image in to create your custom back button, which is so super awesome. Um, great job, guys at the Power BI product team. Keep up the good work. Um, this, this product is really just growing and maturing. I love it. Um, what do you guys think? You got any questions, comments on how I did this? You found some other new thing, neat tricks that I'm missing? Post it in the comments below. Um, if this is your first time visiting Guy in the Cube, be sure to subscribe. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. And as always, from Adam and Patrick, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Man, get ready. Get serious for one of these videos. All right.